ban we need to ban books that that have porn, pornographic imagery in them, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because because we somebody was telling us about a book that had like two daughters getting their dad drunk and having sex with them. Yeah, I knew you're going that way. I knew you're doing that. Yeah, yeah it's a good point. This is one of my favorite videos uh, that's making its way around the internet right now. What you just witnessed was Jason Selvig of the Good Liars pulling the good old switcheroo on a Republican candidate for governor in the state of Michigan. Now that candidate's name is Ralph Rebrandt and uh, he's a pastor who wants the Bible taught in public schools, which would mean that the government would be promoting religion, which is unconstitutional. But nonetheless, he wants to do it because, you know, he wants good, wholesome education within these schools. But apparently, he forgets that the Bible has some parts that maybe make him a little uncomfortable. Let's watch the rest of that exchange. My name is Ralph Rebant and I'm running for the governor of Michigan. I'm a pastor, but I'm running on bringing God back into culture because I'm convinced that if we don't get God right in this next election, nothing will matter. Bringing God back to Michigan, um, what would that look like? Would there be religion taught in schools? Uh, there would be, uh, as our founders said, the Bible should be the basic textbook in scripture. I mean, in schools. Are there books that you don't wanna see in schools? Uh, I would remove the pornography. So we need to ban we need to ban books that that have porn, pornographic imagery in them, right? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Because because we somebody was telling us about a book that had like two daughters getting their dad drunk and having sex with them. Yeah, I knew you're going that way. I knew you're doing that. Yeah, it's a good point. So you're saying ban the Bible in school? Uh, no, I'm not saying ban the Bible in school. I, I get where you're going with your questions. Right, because it's because it's a you, you're saying yeah. anything that has a pornographic image should be banned, and the, there are some images in the Bible about you know sex and incest and things like that. So, it sounds like you're saying we should ban the Bible. Uh, what I am saying is that the Judeo-Christian principles under which our country is founded need to be brought back into culture. And I, that, I can't state it any more clearly than that. Um, and if when, that when means I, banning the Bible, so be it. The Bible would not be banned from culture or- From the schools, I'm just saying the schools protect the kids. No. <laughs> Oops. Oops, oh, that was so good. And look, um, we have the receipts. Uh, look, if you've read the Bible, you already know. There are, there are some unsavory components to it, very mm. unsavory, yeah. okay. So. Do you want me to read some of them? Yeah, well, that's fun, sure, let's okay, do that. Okay, let's uh, start with a graphic two here. Teacher Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies and leaves a wife, but leaves no child, the man must take the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Like you're effing your brother's widow. Like that's what the Bible is telling you to do. Like get it but on. Very literally, and in fact, uh, the Prohibition against masturbation in the Bible is called onanism because Onan did not listen to God. Oh, I've got that, Jenk. You okay, ready for it? Let's okay. do it. Judah said to Onan, "Sleep with your brother's wife and fulfill your do fulfill your duty uh, to her as a brother-in-law to raise up offspring for your brother." But Onan knew that the child would not be his. So whenever he slept with his brother's wife, he, sp ugh, he spilled his semen on the ground to keep from providing offspring for his brother. When he did, oh, what he did was wicked in the Lord's sight. So the Lord put him to death also. So the Lord yeah, yeah, killed him. Let's teach kindergarten kids about this. Because he yeah. withdrew. And by the way, the point of sleeping with your brother's wife, according to the Bible, is so that you can provide the offspring. If you're not providing the offspring, why are you sleeping with your dead brother's wife? Okay. We, we know. <laughs> okay, and so there's tons of things like that in the Bible. Um, so look, I, I've talked in some of the members only uh, episodes about how I became atheist, but I remember reading the Quran and thinking, wow, I can't believe what's in this thing, like really? Really, and then I, I said, okay, fine. And then I, I said, maybe the Bible's got to figure it out. And I started reading the Bible. I was like, whoa, it's even worse. So it's 
it, a lot of passages are downright pornographic. And I remember mm -hmm. one passage I was reading, um, and you could just pick up random parts of the Bible and read it. You I mean it's it's like probably the dirtiest book they'll have in any school. Uh, anyways, uh, I the guy has sex with a prostitute he picks up on the road, and the Bible makes no note of that. Like it's not a big deal. Oh yeah, of course he's a rich man and he got found a hooker on the road and he's he sleeps with her and stuff. The Bible's got it all written out, and then he says, oh, but then he found out that it was his daughter-in-law. What? And then yeah. it explains what do you do if you accidentally sent slept with your son's hooker wife? Okay. No, you don't get it. The disciples were the original Jerry Springers. Okay. <laughs> this is like chair throwing, but they kind of is. There's lots of talk of blood. There's the mm -hmm. hey, get the other side to circumcise themselves. Oh, there, I, I got more for you, Jenk. Okay. You know what? We were gonna try to fit more stories in this segment, but why? Like we we've, <laughs> we've got gold. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're doing Bible study. This is what they want. Let's do Bible study. Um, so. First, let's talk about the passage where it specifically addresses humans having sex with animals. If a man has sexual relations with an animal, he is to be put to death and you must kill the animal. Why what did the animal what, do? Why you gotta kill the animal? <laughs> what, did, what did Fluffy do, poor son of a gun? Okay, you know why, by the way, just so you know, it's because religion is obsessed with purity. And so now the animal has also become unpure, so you kill it. It's disgusting, terrible. Animals are innocent. Exactly. Now, uh, let's get to that uh, weird passage about circumcision and how it saves Moses from God's wrath. Um, at a lodging place on the way, the Lord met Moses and was about to kill him. Because the Lord kills everyone randomly, but okay. But Zipporah, with a very, very good name, took a flint knife cut off her son's foreskin and touched Moses' feet with it. You gotta touch the feet. You gotta touch the feet. Yeah, otherwise it doesn't count. Surely you are a bridegroom of blood to me, she said. So the Lord let him alone. Look, guys, people take religion and do wonderful things with it. My hero is a reverend, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. So a lot of you out there are religious and you help the poor and the needy, etc. And we love you for it and thank you for interpreting your religious text, whether you're Muslim, Christian, Jewish, it doesn't matter. For interpreting it in wonderful ways. There are others who do not interpret it in great ways. And it's pretty clear from the text you shouldn't take it literally. And you should really be careful if you're teaching it to kids because there is a lot of interesting material in there. Yeah. And that is not the circumcision part I was referring to. Oh, there's, there's another circumcision part. Oh, there's oh. lots of circumcision parts. Well, okay. Tell me more. Okay, there's a part where uh, the it, tribe of Israel, uh, the God tells them, go tell the other tribe that you're warring with, it's gonna be okay. As long as you uh, do circumcise yourselves, you'll get to have our daughters, okay? So yeah. by the way, the daughters no say, say in this, of course, right? And so they're like, oh, that's pretty cool. We're gonna get together their daughters. So they circumcise themselves and then God what says- What do you mean circumcise themselves? Like they take a blade and they just like- Yeah, let, for the adults and they cut the foreskin, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is in the Bible, I'm not making it up. You can look it up. Uh, and then God says, oh, okay, good, idiots. Now go murder them because they're in a lot of pain. And they do and they go and they kill everyone else in the tribe. So God told them to trick them mm -hmm. with alluring like, hey, we'll let you sleep with our daughters so you can murder them all. That's insane. Okay, um, it's so and you don't get mad culture, at me, please though. read your Bible, please it, don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what's in there. We need it in our culture, Jenk. Let me give you more though. Um, there is a, pas a passage in which a prostitute thinks uh, about male genitalia in graphic detail. Um, Yet she became more and more promiscuous as she recalled the days of her youth when she was a prostitute in Egypt. There she lusted after her lovers whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emission was like that of horses. Who's tracking the emissions of horses? Why was that a thing that Ezekiel was tracking? Right? Damn. He's like, have you ever seen a horse emit? Well, I'm gonna put that in the Bible. By the way, in Ezekiel 23, God says that prostitutes deserve to be slaughtered, okay? Unless, remember, they're your son's wife, in which case it's right. a-okay. And then finally, there is there seems to be another passage that is a, it has sexual content, but it seems a little more lovely. Um, so this is Song of Songs. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle that browse among the lilies. That's, that's pretty, I like that. 
It is, the flip side is they seem to be weirdly obsessed with sex with animals. Like, oh, your breasts look like animals. On the other hand, if I you know, do that, then I'm gonna have to murder the gazelle and, and the fawns and all that stuff. Okay, but okay, so again, one last time. Yes, but people take these texts and also interpret it in wonderful ways. And there are other great parts of the Bible, the yes. Quran, etc. Yes. And, and but it is not supposed to be part of our government. How do you put that in the government? That's not so. And he's lying about the founders. The founders said, and it's in the Constitution, you could read it, we shall not establish a religion. And this is among the reasons why. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.